Bill, Mike, Lee, Ned, and Rosemary call Lucas and start asking questions. Lucas says it's about Hope Valley, but if they're unsure, it doesn't have to be the resort. They object, and he says he's selling the hotel and saloon due to a conflict of interest. Lucas promises Mike he will push the new owner to keep him and asks Bill to arrange the legal sale. Luke asks Rosemary for a print ad and asks about Clayton Pike's arrest, but Bill changes the topic. Rosemary advises Lee to be enthused about all the timber required to create the resort and the great challenges ahead. Rosemary reminds Lee of their brunch. Lee forgot about it and assured Richard he'd go over statistics, but he promised Rosemary a cafe lunch later. Rosemary wonders if Elizabeth is glad Nathan is home as they depart. Rosemary suggests throwing Nathan a party for his birthday this weekend. Elizabeth believes he wouldn't like it, but Rosemary recommends a modest dinner party, which Elizabeth thinks he would like. Elizabeth rejoices Nathan is home. Minnie's son Cooper helps Toby with fractions at the kitchen table. Toby doesn't understand and claims he'll memorize the quiz answers from the assignment. Nats is different from geography because you have to answer problems, Cooper says. Toby thinks he'll be fine if his assignment answers are correct. Nathan and Allie discuss his birthday on the way to school. Nathan doesn't want to celebrate the day. Allie suggests a fishing trip for two to celebrate, which he enjoys. At school, Elizabeth rings the bell to call kids in and remind them of their maths quiz. Elizabeth mentions Nathan's birthday and Rosemary's informal celebration at the saloon after Nathan sends Allie off at school. Nathan thinks Elizabeth is making Allie throw him a party. Nathan agrees to attend the surprise party despite Elizabeth's objections. Bill tells Mike at the cafe that Lucas and Lee want to chat. Lucas should engage municipal leadership regarding the resort before making large statements. Ned Yost, who set up the call, asks to join. Mike asks whether they may complete the crossword as May leaves the drugstore with medications to deliver. Bill approaches Mike and May to check on the newlyweds. When May leaves, Mike informs Bill that their relationship is great. Bill advises Mike not to hunt for a new job since he may be getting ahead of himself. Since she's fishing with Nathan tomorrow, Allie asks Elizabeth if Jack wants to pick worms with her tonight at the schoolhouse. Elizabeth wonders if she's arranging anything else for Nathan or if they're fishing. Allie admits it's the latter, disproving Nathan's surprise party hypothesis. Bill and Lee discuss Lucas selling the saloon at the hotel, and Lee recalls Bill he wanted to purchase it. Bill wants to simplify while being intrigued in Lucas's attacker. Mike brings the saloon newspaper and says business is good. Elizabeth meets Henry in town and hugs him. She queries Abigail, who Henry swears is okay. Elizabeth wondered if he would return. Henry claims Abigail wants him to be happy and is trying. Elizabeth says she's pleased to see him again. Molly, Ned, and Florence read Randall Rockwell's exclusive. In the Benson Hills Beetle at the Mercantile, Uncut Governor's Shooter Confession. They say Randall must be scooped quickly. Rosemary reads the newspaper behind them. She says Randall quoted Clayton Pike's confession word for word, which isn't journalism. Rosemary should find a source to beat Randall, Ned advises. Allie catches Nathan reading the same paper piece at home. Nathan winks at Allie, assuming it's a party cover, as they discuss his birthday fishing trip. While reading Randall's piece, Elizabeth sits outside with Rosemary at the cafe. The scoop doesn't bother Rosemary as much as it seems too simple. Bill finds it handy, while Elizabeth worries about Lucas's safety. Rosemary needs Randall, but Elizabeth tells her that Rosemary can do anything. Allie passes by and tells Elizabeth that she and Nathan are acting strangely over his birthday. After Elizabeth exposes Nathan's belief in a surprise party, Rosemary encourages them, stating that Nathan does desire one despite his denial. Elizabeth is given to Allie to arrange since the people will want to celebrate, says Rosemary. For invites, Allie departs. May doesn't wave back as Mike waves to her as she bikes past the saloon. May is astonished when Mike approaches to talk. Mike asks her if he did anything wrong as she enters. She claims he hasn't, she's busy. Outside the cafe, Elizabeth finds Rosemary waiting for Lee for lunch. Rosemary thinks Lee forgot about being late. Elizabeth and Minnie comfort Rosemary and tell her that forgiveness humbles her at difficult times. Minnie laments in the cafe as Joseph prepares that people want her to be wise since she's married to him, which she finds difficult. They kiss after Joseph thanks her for everything. Rosemary enters the saloon to find Lee working, forgetting their lunch rendezvous. He reviewed Lucas's books and found the motel profitable. Rosemary is unhappy when Lee recommends they buy the hotel because she seldom sees him. Rosemary stops Bill in town with the paper and asks whether catching the culprit was simple. She recommends they work together to solve it, but he says she knows as much as him. Henry is working on field trees as Joseph approaches. Joseph asks Henry for extra time to tend to the trees, and Henry replies he does. Henry admits he may be different when Joseph says he seems different. Minnie gives Elizabeth more coffee while grading maths tests at the cafe. Elizabeth reports another flawless score for Cooper. Minnie says Cooper has been teaching Toby with fractions. She informs Elizabeth that Toby planned to memorize his quiz homework instead of studying. Elizabeth is asked about Nathan's birthday party invites by Allie and Angela. She adds tomorrow at 6 p.m., Minnie will prepare a cake, and Molly wants to help. May is upset when Faith makes Lily a sandwich at night. After telling Faith that things with Mike were going well, May becomes confused and withdraws. May feels bad, but Faith knows she cares for Mike. Serious things are terrifying. 
Lily descends the stairs in adult clothing, ready for dinner. Liz crafts a banner and Jack makes a card for Nathan's birthday celebration at her house. Elizabeth requests to view his card, which depicts Mountie Nathan, Elizabeth, Tiny Jack, Allie, and Scout. Nathan runs inside the mercantile as Ned closes, requesting eggs. Allie has been waiting for Nathan's tackle box every day, says Ned. Nathan plans to seem shocked at the gathering and the tackle box present. Nathan leaves since Ned and Florence don't know of any party. Lee approaches Rosemary about buying the Queen of Hearts Hotel at the Coulters. Rosemary thinks it will take more time, but Lee wants Mike to keep things operating smoothly. Lee also wants Richard to take on additional male responsibilities, giving him more time with Rosemary and Goldie. Rosemary says she had a terrible day, and Lee offers to assist. He makes her aboard to follow Lucas's attacker and connect the dots. Bill informs Henry at the saloon that Lucas's assault hints fell in a straight line. Both Rosemary and Lee strive to link the hints on her home board. They say Pike lived honestly without purpose. Bill wonders why Pike, who changed their life, would do this act without a purpose. He thinks Montague is still connected and doesn't understand. Minnie, Ned, Florence, Elizabeth, and Rosemary meet to plan Nathan's celebration. The group scatters as Nathan finds them outside. Elizabeth learns Nathan knows there's a party, but it wasn't planned. Elizabeth says Allie only wanted to go fishing with him, but the party is occurring and she wants him to enjoy it. Nathan assures Elizabeth he'll act surprised at the party as he departs. She wishes him a good birthday. Nathan tells Allie he likes his new tackle box after fishing. Allie wonders if he's upset about not having a party and if her mum hated gatherings. Like her, her mother loved to dance and sing, he says. Allie recommends having supper at the saloon. After Faith reads a novel, Lily wonders about the parents. Faith assures Lily her granny is improving when she asks about her. When missing someone, Faith shuts her eyes and imagines them. They do this, and Lily sees her granny and Faith sees her missed buddy Fiona. Nathan and Allie enter his surprise party at the saloon, where they sing happy birthday. Later during the gathering, Rosemary tells Elizabeth Nathan appears cheerful as he recounts stories. At the pub, Bill and Lee tell Mike a new owner is coming. They say they'll buy the saloon, and Mike stays. After Mike approaches, May apologizes for being chilly. May agrees to dance when he asks. Elizabeth spots Nathan outside the saloon taking a break. Elizabeth appreciates Nathan's sportsmanship. Nathan felt he understood her and Allie, but he didn't. Nathan says something and strokes her hair, they pause. Nathan is beckoned inside with a song, and Elizabeth and Nathan re-enter to find the group singing to a recuperating Lucas, who descends the stairs with his cane. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.